Welcome to the entry point for the BusierNet website. Please check your profile here. And make sure that you've signed a code of conduct. And ensure that your credentialing is active. Your credentialing will require making sure that you've submitted And this is where you submit your city recertifications. So remember that there is a MIT affiliate city specific variant um, where you will also submit your certificate and report this way. And you can pick your certificate and submit here. Additionally, you will have try to select an email address that will be assigned to your BigQuery access. Here you see the Gmail or SCCM email address here that you then have to save to make sure that this cloud information is set. So this is an important step. And you have to edit your email list on the left. And the bottom, you can select any email address to add to your list up top. Please copy those emails into that box and submit them there. And once you've added emails here, you can go back and return new emails to your selection box here. Brilliant. Now that we've completed the initial profile and credentialing and training steps, we can then move forward to adding BizuNet data sets. So now begin to use the search box in the right hand corner. Here we're looking for Mimic 3. Please scroll down and find the Mimic 3 database. This clinical database here. Once you click on this, if you haven't done this before, you should see at the very bottom. You'll see that you'll need to sign the data use agreement for this project. This is your DUA, your data use agreement that you have to agree to. And then once you click on the blue link once again, you will return back to this dataset page. And then once you scroll to the access the files, then you can request access to Google BigQuery. Click that link there. And once the page refreshes, you'll see in the green that your access has been granted. Now we're going to do the same for Mimic 4. You may need to look on the second page for this. So let's repeat the same steps here. You will sign the DUA, X agree to the DUA, click on the blue link to return back to the dataset profile page, and again request access. request access using Google BigQuery, so click that link. Again, you've been confirmed in the green here. Finally, let's add EICU. Finally, resign the DOA for the EICU dataset. Agree here, click back in the blue link. And again, request access. Congratulations with 
these three green boxes, you now have access to each of these three data sets in BigQuery. So let's demonstrate for you how to get access to BigQuery and to view the data sets you've just added your access to. So you're gonna search for BigQuery, for example, either way, you need to get to the console and it's been in particular SQL Developer. So you see that blue console on the top right, either way, as long as you get to it, that's all that matters. You'll have to accept a terms of service. So you'll see BigQuery in the bottom left in this, what they call hamburger menu. You click on SQL Workspace. You have to pick a project that will be your billing project. For the purpose of the SCCM Datathon, here you may use a um, SCCM Datathon project, otherwise you may use your own project for yourself. And finally, to add the PhysioNet dataset, you have to use a second choice star project by name, add the PhysioNet dash data project. And once you've added this and star it, you will see that you have all the new data sets here. So then EICU with their derived tables, MIMIC 3 with their derived tables, and MIMIC 4 with this final derived tables. And if you'd like to confirm, you have all those three data sets here. You continue this for other data sets in BigQuery. And to make sure that you have data, you can always double check the tables you would have embedded. You click on the triangle, for example, to expand out each data set. And you can see the various tables, such as admission drug. And you've validated that you have these different rows. And you can validate here's the different data inside. Perfect. And this is how you get data working and request access. Thank you so much, John Hayden at SCCM, for being such a uh, wonderful collaborator.